Book 1 Chapter 1 The Hills Above the Umzimkulu There is a lovely road that runs from Isopu into the hills. These hills are grass-covered and rolling, and they are too lovely to describe. The road climbs 11 kilometers into them to Carisbrook, and from there, if there is no mist, you look down on one of the fairest valleys of Africa. About you there is grass, and you may hear the forlorn crying of the Titihoya, one of the birds of the grasslands. Below you is the valley of the Umzimkulu, on its journey from the Drakensberg Mountains to the sea. And beyond and behind the river, great hill after great hill, and beyond and behind them, the mountains of Ingeli and East Griqualand. The grass is rich and thick. You cannot see the soil. It holds the rain and the mist, and they sink slowly into the ground, feeding the streams in every small valley. It is well looked after, and not too many cattle feed upon it. Not too many fires burn it, damaging the soil. Stand upon it without shoes, for the ground is holy, being just as it came from God. Keep it, guard it, care for it, for it keeps men, guards men, cares for men. Destroy it, and man is destroyed. Where you stand the grass is rich and thick. You cannot see the soil, but the rich green hills break down. They fall to the valley below, and, falling, change their nature. For they grow red and empty. They cannot hold the rain and mist, and the streams are dry in the small valleys. Too many cattle feed upon the grass, and too many fires have burned it. Do not stand upon it without shoes, for it is rough and sharp, and the stones cut under the feet. It is not kept or guarded, or cared for. It no longer keeps men, guards men, cares for men. The Titihoya does not cry here anymore. The great red hills stand empty, and the earth has torn away like flesh. The lightning flashes over them, the clouds pour down upon them, the dead streams come to life, full of the red blood of the earth. Down in the valleys, women struggle to work the soil that is left, and the corn hardly reaches the height of a man. They are valleys of old men and old women, of mothers and children. The men are away. The young men and the girls are away. The soil cannot keep them anymore.